promotion. It's a software website launch. If the police ask you, call the police ask you. It's called, it's called, called you. Illuminate DRM. <laughs> Infectedbydesign.org. It's a street team. It's not, it's not a protest in any way, shape, or form. Okay. Okay, that's good. Ready, Greg? Come on, Greg. Let's have a line. Keep a line going. by design. And people who purchase and use these products and software are going to stop using them. They're going to say no to DRM. Because DRM is defective by design. So enjoy the win heck today. And uh, as you're listening to uh, Bill Gates talk about Vista and Longhorn and DRM, know that what he's selling you is defective by design. We're here to send that message. Yes, so if we eliminate DRM, there will be no more DVDs. This is the Microsoft line. Just got it from the horse's mouth. He was wearing a blue shirt and said Microsoft. Restrictions manager now? No. Okay, so a lot of devices being sold today contain digital restrictions management that restrict what you can do with your media, with your film and your music, stops uh -huh. you from copying and making private private copies for yourself. Uh -huh. And uh, they're also monitoring devices, so they can actually monitor what you're watching, what you're reading. Oh yeah. And uh, uh -huh. it's a uh, big media's way of monitoring you and trying to turn every interaction you have with a copyrighted work yeah. into a transaction. Yeah. So be yeah. careful of DRM. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Tell me your name and what brings you out here today. Uh, Peter Brown, uh, Executive Director at the Free Software Foundation. Uh, today we're launching our campaign, DefectedByDesign.org, and trying to bring, bring attention to developers and consumers and the wider community about the threats and dangers of DRM. DRM is becoming pervasive. It's in all our computers. It's in our tele new HD television sets, it's in our music players, it's in our video players. And these d d uh, products are designed to be defective, that is they're designed to be crippled, that is they're designed to not give you the technology that you would have expected. They're designed specifically to restrict you from doing things, and this has been done at the behest of Hollywood and big media. Big media are seeking to lock us all down so that they can control access and they get to control us. The idea is that they want to bring these products into our homes and onto our desktops and in networking these products uh, in, in our desktops, on our desktops and at home, we effectively put them in a position to control and monitor what we do. And in doing so, they're going to turn every interaction we have with a copyrighted work into a transaction. So this isn't a response to consumers then? The uh, technologists which we represent have a responsibility because they know about DRM. They know the threats of DRM. It's us who are the, the first to be affected by DRM. So we are the ones who are left with the responsibility of standing up against this. And it's up to us to, today, try and raise the profile of this issue so that we can tap into the... There's a large amount of anger out there about DRM. We've, we've seen lots of, you know, angry displays and, and people 
despise and they very much despise DRM. But now we have an opportunity to say, okay, let's tap into this into this uh, feeling and get people to stand up. And hopefully by the end of this holiday season, DRM will be under pressure. Manufacturers who are releasing DRM products will feel under pressure. Microsoft will feel under pressure. Apple will feel under pressure. Sony will feel under pressure. The big media conglomerates will feel under pressure. They're, they're the ones who, who colluded with the proprietary software companies and the device manufacturers to put this DRM into our devices. And so it's only by putting economic pressure on them and putting this kind of pressure on them that we are going to get any change. So you feel it's companies like Microsoft that are leading this? Look, there's a great collusion going on here. If you're offered an opportunity to lock down a consumer, you do it. That's what Microsoft have done for the last 20 years after all. So DRM gives them another opportunity to do that. Big media obviously are threatening saying if you don't include this technology, we may not distribute to you. So there's this pressure on the manufacturers to produce products for the likes of Microsoft and for the likes of Apple that fulfill their DRM desires, i.e. to stop us from having use of film, music, art, literature. They want to try and restrict our traditional uses of these materials. And what happens when people who produce open software uh, have to work with a um, DRM? Well, uh, of course, we'd say it's very important to remember it's about free freedom, free software. Open source is about a development model. It's about seeing the source code. Free software is about this, it's about freedom. And that's what's important. We need to stand up for our freedom because otherwise people will be only too pleased to take it away from us. And that's exactly what's happening. It's, ha it's happening now. We're seeing all our hardware being locked down with trusted computing. DRM sat on top of trusted computing is the end, could be the end for us. So we need to make this stand. And that's what we're about here to, doing here today. All right, so how much has this DRM been implemented into uh, software and hardware already? It's sad to say, but it's actually getting difficult to find a product which doesn't contain DRM. And that's one of the things we're hoping to do through this campaign, is to reach out to manufacturers who don't want to go down this route and form a coalition with certain manufacturers to ask them to help give us freedom. Connect with us, we we'll support your products, that's what Defective by Design is going to do. We're going to identify the products which are contaminated with DRM and we're going to promote those products and those companies and, and device manufacturers who want to produce devices which give us a chance of freedom. All right, and how can people find out more about this issue? First thing they want to realize is that there's a lot of information out there. I recommend reading resources at EFF.org, but if you actually want to take action, go to DefectiveByDesign.org and sign up there. The idea of the campaign is we're going to distribute this. We're going to distribute what we've done here today. We're going to uh, encourage free and open source software developers, technologists to uh, take part in similar events. We want you to raise this issue at a local level. We want it to be in your press, your local press. We want it to be at your local Apple store. Um, you know, we want you to be outside your local movie theatre. This is about taking it locally and taking it globally. There's already great work being done in Europe, in France, and we want to connect up with, with those organizations, and there's the freeculture.org, there's a student group here in the US who are doing some great work, and to connect up with them when they come back after the summer, and hopefully have some uh, campus campaigns as well.